What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Terrifier and the future of that series. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Welcome to Dairy. Just kind of going over the same thing I just did in the other video for anyone that's already seen my Welcome to Dairy news video. And we'll be rounding it out by talking about Euphoria. Now, just to start off with Terrifier, Damien Leon had an interview with Insider back in February that I completely overlooked just going off of my own excitement for Scream 6. I completely overlooked this and probably some other stuff that I was probably very excited for but Scream 6 just of course was number one on my hit list that month and going into March and now it's kind of dwindling down with all the excitement disappearing now looking forward to Scream 7 but Damien Leon had this to say with Insider on the subject of Terrifier 3 and a potential Terrifier 4 he said I'm writing Terrifier 3 as we speak I definitely want to make it or make at least one more. There may be two to tell this story and tackle all the ideas that I have in my head because there's a lot more to explore with Art the Clown, the Pale Girl, Victoria, and certainly Sienna as our final girl. We will be following her journey to the end of this franchise. Now, the most interesting thing about there, not only the tease of a potential Terrifier 4, but the fact that it sounds like he plans to keep Sienna around as the final girl for the foreseeable future of this franchise. So he wants Sienna to join the likes of your Sydney Prescott's, Laurie Strode's, and any other iconic final girl you can think of, like Nancy Thompson for that matter, and some other laundry list of iconic survival girls. Now, I would love to see Sienna battle Art the Clown for as long as this series can thrive. Lauren Levera, I think, did a tremendous job in Terrifier 2. One of my favorite final girls of that year was Sienna, and I'd love to see her battle Art the Clown in many more movies to come. I just do not want to see this series become fatigued either, but it's nice to know that Terrifier 3 is at least currently being written, and it might have so much going on that some of it needs to be turned into a Terrifier 4. You guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to the future of the Terrifier franchise? Do you want to see more from Art the Clown? Let me know why or why not down below. Jumping into Scream 6, Guy Busick had doubled down on some information that was already out there about how Sidney Prescott changed the outcome of Scream 6 by not returning. This sentiment remains the same. There was very little that changed. A few scenes were lifted, but structurally, it was always going to be this story. Now, Guy revealed this during a wonderful interview done by Mike over at We Watch the Movie, so shout out to you. Uh, Guy even addressed that we of course can imagine ourselves as fans how Sydney might have factored into that narrative that revolved around Richie's family going after the Carpenter sisters as a method of revenge of course uh but keep in mind the a rumor or the rumored alleged role that I shared with you a few months ago would have ultimately had Sydney show up to save Sam and Tara at the end of the movie because she viewed them as family now but that's yet to be stated by anyone officially involved however there was something pointed out to me by a friend of mine so shout out to you you know who you are if you are listening to this Sam's phone screen in Scream 6 does indicate that she and Sydney might have a close relationship that's been building in between the events of five and six uh or at least a close virtual connection because i doubt they've hung out a lot but i wouldn't be shocked to learn they maybe have hung out once or twice so sam's phone screen in scream six indicates that she had sydney saved as a favorite in her contacts so there's definitely something that is being hinted at as a bond has been formed in between the events of five and six and maybe that would have been addressed by sydney herself if she showed up at the end of scream six but guy again doubled down on what he was saying or what has been said about how she has altered the story and it wasn't that much of a change this contradicts i think what who said that she had a major role was it R jamie kennedy uh, or somebody else says she had a major role. She she did not have a major role. It's just clear as day now. They keep on doubling down on that. It was always going to be about Sam and Tara. So jumping into Welcome to Dairy, Bill Skarsgård will indeed return for Welcome to Dairy, according to Scooper Jeff Snyder, who shared this during a recent episode of the Hype hot mic podcast this was a few days ago at this point so despite scars guards claims he is reportedly working on his deal to return as pennywise according again to jeff snyder the shape-shifting antagonist that haunts dairy maine not jeff snyder pennywise <laughs> again as i pointed out in my other solo video about this jeff did not flat out say scars guard has signed on to the project but he has stated in confidence that he will return based on the fact that a deal is currently being worked on between scars guard and the powers that be that are involved with Welcome to Dairy. Now, this, of course, is a sigh of relief for many people. 
and we know Andy Muschietti is directing the pilot episode as well as a few others. We know this is acting as a prequel to Andy's first two movies. Filming is expected to start very soon, sometime this month or sometime in May. And as far as the overall show itself, I am looking forward to seeing how it explores the lore of Pennywise because we know it is supposed to dive into that. Uh, the log line basically kind of only highlighted how it was going to be this prequel series to Andy's first two movies, diving back into that world. But some rumors that are out there that haven't been confirmed by any other reliable sources are stating that we are going to be introduced to, of course, a new Losers Club since this series is supposed to be set in the 60s and work our way up to the events of the first two movies. So time will tell how great Welcome to Dairy will be. Uh, I do, again, believe Bill Skarsgård will be back because at the time, Bill Skarsgård was simply just saying, I'm not involved in it as of right now, which you can say is true but if you sign the dotted line now you're back and you don't have to worry about anybody filling the role and making it their own because you're still going to be here but those tips that he gave that future person obviously will come in handy in the future just not right now <laughs> last thing we're going to talk about here is euphoria season three euphoria season three is reportedly going to begin filming later this june and might feature a five-year time jump now this was shared during a recent vogue interview with one of the show's costume designers a time jump to me would fix the argument of these people are too old to play high schoolers narrative but it also raises some doubt about sam being able to address the plot threads that two left behind season two that being because i've seen people already talk about this i've seen the thought of the time jump being used as an excuse to ditch any unresolved issues from season two that don't want to be addressed in season three like Lori, for example being one of the biggest ones that is a big question mark uh Rouge definitely between this these five years would have been dealt with by her right or maybe Lori for whatever reason decided to wait and let Rue develop this sense of security but little does Rue know Lori has been stalking her and has been waiting to strike and now she's going to strike five years later for whatever reason I don't know hopefully that'll be explained in some phenomenal writing in season three and it can make up for some of the rather lackluster writing in season two now the other thing other argument I've seen is surrounding Rue herself and how she's still alive because her spiral in season two indicated near death experience would have been on the way but I have faith season three will benefit from his time time jump specifically Fesco being a free man again most likely you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video